Hey guys, welcome back to Driving TV. Today we're providing those new drivers who want to obtain their license a study guide with all the questions and answers that you need in order to pass the written examination. This is Florida DMV written practice test. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Enjoy! How fast can you drive on residential streets in Florida? B. 30 miles per hour. If you refuse to take a blood test when asked by an officer, your license will automatically be suspended for B. 1 year. Stop lines, crosswalks, and parking spaces are marked by C. White lines Under Florida's Zero Tolerance Law, what is the blood alcohol limit, BAL, for drivers under 21 years old? C. 0.02% What does a red arrow signal mean? A. Do not make the movement shown by the arrow until the green light appears. When stopped behind another vehicle on a hill, you should stay back at least... B. One vehicle length. What is the speed limit on Florida limited access highways? C. 70 miles per hour. Which shape is a warning sign? D. Diamond When entering a freeway from an acceleration lane, it is important to B. Increase your speed to match that of the freeway. Before entering a curve, drivers should and watch for oncoming vehicles. C. Slow down, move to the right of the road. You see a bicyclist signal with her left arm out to the side, bent at the elbow, hand pointing upward. What is she telling you? D. She's preparing to turn right. Who is more affected by alcohol? C. Young drivers. This sign warns drivers of B. A narrow bridge ahead. You're involved in an accident with another driver. According to Florida's financial responsibility law, if you don't have proper insurance coverage, you may C. Both of the above have to pay for all damages, yours and those of the other driver if you were at fault, and have your driver's license suspended up to three years. You should signal your intentions to turn at least for the last before turning. C. 100 feet. What should drivers do when they see this road sign?
A. Slow down, look for a train, and be prepared to stop. Where do more crashes occur than any other place on Florida roads? B. At intersections. If a driver is approaching you head on in your lane, what should you do? C. Beep your horn and pull off the road. On a two way street, a stopped school bus is picking children up. Drivers must. C. Stop and remain stopped until all children are clear of the roadway and the bus stop arm is withdrawn. According to Florida law, if you approach a stopped law enforcement or emergency vehicle, tow truck, or maintenance utility vehicle that is on the side of a multi-lane roadway, you should B. Move over to the next adjacent line as quickly and safely as possible. When approaching any intersection or driveway, drivers should A. Look both ways and be ready to stop. If you are the driver or owner of a vehicle which is in a crash that is your fault and you do not have insurance to compile with the financial responsibility law, you may be required to pay for the damages before your driving privilege is reinstated. True or false, Florida allows a speeding buffer of 100 miles per hour above the posted speed limit within which it's still deemed safe to drive. Correct answer is false. Pentagonal signs are used to indicate C. School crossings At intersections marked with stop lines, drivers must B. Stop behind the lines and yield the right of way to all other traffic and pedestrians at stop signs. What is the speed limit on rural interstates in Florida? A. 70 miles per hour. Driving too slowly. A. Can be very dangerous. Which of the following is not a serious violation of the license law? D. None of the answers are correct. True or false. When coming up to a flashing yellow light, you should continue driving at the same rate of speed. Other traffic must yield the right of way to you. Correct answer is false. Road rage can... C. Result in crashes or other incidents. You are required by law to yield right away to all the following except D. Vehicles with blue, green, or amber lights. You're on a road with just two lanes and there is a police car stopped on the side of the road. You must... C. Slow your vehicle speed to 20 miles per hour below the posted limit. This sign means 
B. Hairpin corner ahead. High beam headlights are most effective for speeds faster than. B. 25 miles per hour. When driving near a large commercial vehicle, like a semi truck, the blind spots you should avoid are called. B. No zones. The risk of death is times greater if you are thrown from a vehicle in a crash. D. Five times greater. When entering an expressway, never stop in the acceleration lane unless. D. Traffic is too heavy for you to merge safely. You're driving through a rainstorm and your vehicle hydroplanes on a patch of water, sending it to a skid. What should you do? A. Take your foot off the gas and steer your wheel into the direction of the skid. When is it legal to pass another vehicle using the shoulder of a road? D. Never. A parent of a child younger than 6 years of age may not C. Leave the child unattended in a motor vehicle for more than 15 minutes. What is the minimum following distance you should give between your car and the vehicle in front of you? B. 4 seconds. What does the flashing signal in the picture indicate? A. Pedestrians should finish crossing the street if started. All the expressway entrances have three basic parts. C. Entrance ramp, acceleration lane, and merging area. True or false? If you see a school bus stopped on the other side of the road with its lights flashing, but you're separated from the bus by an unpaved median strip, you do not have to stop for it. Correct answer. It's true. More than half of the crashes that cause injury or death happen at speeds less than B. 40 miles per hour. A. Marks the right edge of the roadway. C. Solid white line. You're about to make a turn. When should you use your turn signal? D. At least 100 feet before your turn. This sign indicates A. A slow moving vehicle. Right of way must be yield to emergency vehicles. D. Using a siren or flashing red, blue, or white lights. If a law enforcement officer stops a vehicle and finds a front seat passenger, 17 years of age or younger, not wearing a seatbelt, a seatbelt violation will be charged to D. The driver You're driving a vehicle that has an automatic transmission. 
When you're parked on a hill, you should C. Set the parking brake first before you shift the transmission into park. Carpool vehicles are C. Vehicles with two or more occupants in the car. This sign means C. A side road sign. When should you yield on a green light? B. When turning left. If you are a licensed driver under the age of 17, you must be accompanied by a driver who is 21 years of age or older and holds a valid Class E or higher driver license if you want to operate a motor vehicle between A. 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. unless you are driving to or from work. Which line on a pavement permits the passing of other vehicles? D. Broken white line. This regulatory sign tells drivers that A. Traffic in the left lane must turn left at the intersection ahead. When a projecting load extends to the rear four or more feet beyond the bed or body of a vehicle in the daytime, the extreme rear and sides of the load must be marked by four. B. Red flags. An open, uncontrolled intersection is one. C. Without traffic control signs or signals. If you double your speed on a highway, your braking distance increases by C. Four times. Vertical rectangles. Tell drivers. C. The law. A flashing red light at an intersection means C. Stop and yield to other traffic, then go. When approaching an intersection, if you see a traffic sign in the shape of a triangle, the sign is A. A yield sign. You are parked on a downward slope of a street. It is a one-way street and you are parked against the left curb. Which way should your front wheels be turned? C. To the left. If you're in the lane marked with a curved arrow and the word only, A. You must turn left. Leaving the scene involving property damage commits a misdemeanor of the degree. B. Second degree. You are driving on a multi-lane road or highway and are approaching an emergency vehicle parked along the roadway with its emergency lights activated. If you're in the lane closest to the emergency vehicle, you must B. Safely leave the lane closest to the emergency vehicle or slow down to a speed 20 miles per hour below the posted speed limit. 
the risk of driving impairment begins to rise noticeably at a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of and increases rapidly thereafter. Point zero five per cent. A broken yellow line B separates lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. You are driving on a public road and need to turn your vehicle around. You can use a three point turn. C. Only where U-turns are permitted and only if the road is too narrow for your vehicle to make a U-turn and you cannot go around the block. Prior to entering the roadway from an alley, you must first A. Come to a complete stop. This sign warns that A. Traffic must merge left. You're looking for a place to park your vehicle, and there is a space ahead, near a fire hydrant. You're not allowed to park. B. Within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. Mature drivers should not. D. Listen to loud music while driving. A flashing yellow light. All of the above is used at dangerous intersections, warns drivers to proceed with caution, and can be found before reaching a sharp curve. In which of these situations is it appropriate to use your horn? D. To make eye contact with another driver. True or false. Texting while driving is permitted only when traffic is at a standstill. False. This road sign is D. A regulatory sign. Drivers may need more space in front of their vehicle. C. When it is hard to see ahead. You should reduce your speed by half when the road is C. Packed with snow. When you're driving on a highway that does not have a paved shoulder, if your vehicle breaks down, you should B. Try to get your vehicle completely out of the traffic lanes and off the paved surface of the highway before stopping. When drivers see this road sign, D. They must turn around immediately. Which of the following is true about a driver who is convicted of running a red light? C. The driver must complete a basic driver improvement course in order to retain the driver's license. When you see a bicyclist on the road ahead, with their left arm extended downward to their left, you should assume the bicyclist is C. Signaling that they are slowing down or stopping. If you are involved in a crash and your vehicle enters water, you should D. Make every attempt to get out of the vehicle immediately. What does this road sign indicate? A. Hospital service. Before making a right or left turn, you should signal for at least A. 50 feet. Wearing shoulder belts and lap belts make your chances of living through a crash. B. 
B. Twice as good. A. Sign on a truck means that the truck's load is potentially dangerous. A. Diamond shaped sign. When you are driving at night, A. You must not drive with only your parking lights on. In place of headlights, it is against the law. The countdown time period of a pedestrian countdown signal is based on D. Walking speed and crossing distance. What happens if two vehicles reach at the same time an intersection with four way stop signs? B. The driver on the left yields to the driver on the right. What does this DIP sign indicate? C. There is a low place in the road. You're driving on a slippery road in a car with anti lock brakes, ABS. If you need to make an emergency stop, you should. B. Press down hard on the brake pedal, hold it down, and steer out of danger. A signal yellow line marks the of divided highways and one-way streets. A. Left edge. To stop on ice with a vehicle equipped without ABS brakes, you should B. Pump the brakes. When you are driving on a multi-lane road, if another vehicle moves into your lane right in front of you, cutting you off, you should C. Stay calm, slow down if necessary to avoid a crash, and gently drop back to a safe following distance. When a road closed sign is displayed, drivers must C. Look for a detour or another route. Passing on the right is legal when C. There are two or more lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. When parked facing uphill on the right side of the road with a curb, you should steer A. Away from the curb. When they see the sign, drivers should D. Be ready to shift to lower gear. When parking on a hill, you should C. Set your parking brake, then put the car into park. In heavy rain, tires can ride on a thin film of water without touching the road. This is called A. Hydroplaning This picture shows a sign D. No U-turn An octagonal sign means the driver must D. Come to a complete stop at the marked stop line. The lane signal that tells you to move out of your current lane is the B. Yellow X. When children or school crossing guards are present in a crosswalk, what should drivers do? B. Yield or stop at the marked stop line and without stopping in the crosswalk. Water blind spots. C. Areas near the rear corners of the vehicle that drivers cannot see in their rear view mirrors. Can drink alcohol and drive safely. No one. You should dim your headlights when you see an oncoming car approaching within 
D. 500 feet. When adjusting your seat, you should allow between the chest and steering wheel. C. 10 inches. Drivers who dump more than 15 pounds of trash. C. Can be charged with a first degree misdemeanor. This yield sign means D. If the way is clear, you may move forward slowly without stopping. You are driving towards a railroad crossing that does not have gates or lights. A train is approaching, but there might be just enough time for you to cross the tracks before it arrives. You should A. Slow down, stop at the crossing, and wait for the train to cross in front of you. You can be charged with DUI if you are found to be driving B. While under the influence of alcoholic beverages. The total stopping distance of a vehicle traveling at 30 miles per hour is feet. D. 123 feet. Motorcycles are entitled to A. The entire lane. If all lights are out of an intersection, what should you do? A. Treat it as a four way stop. If your vehicle is equipped with anti lock brakes, when they engage, it is important to A. Keep your foot on the brake. You must complete a department approved driver improvement course if you were convicted of your traffic offense that caused a crash within months. B. Third traffic offense within 36 months. What is a reversible traffic lane? A. A traffic lane where the flow of traffic may change during different times of the day. If a law enforcement officer suspects your vehicle is not properly maintained or does not comply with the Florida Motor Vehicle Equipment Standards, the officer A. May stop your vehicle at any time for a vehicle inspection. This sign warns drivers that B. There is a winding road ahead. When two vehicles meet on a steep mountain road where neither can pass, which vehicle has the right of way? B. The vehicle traveling uphill. Road signs that point out scenic areas and parks are D. Brown and white. Who must wear safety belts? D. The driver and all passengers under the age of 18. Drivers entering a roundabout. A. Must yield to traffic already in the circle. A driver of a car being passed. B. Must not increase speed until the pass is complete. Controlled substances do not include B. Alcoholic beverages What should you do as you prepare to turn right at an intersection? A. Signal your turn, check for bicyclists, and do not turn directly in front of a bicyclist. As a driver, you can incur a traffic violation if any passenger under years old is caught riding without a seatbelt in your car. C. Under 18 years old. Which of the following is not a way to avoid aggressive driving? B. Closely tailgating the car in front of you. 
Which of the following is a serious violation of license law? All of the above, failing to make crash reports, having more than one U.S. driver license, and allowing an unlicensed person to use your car. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit for cars in residential area is miles per hour. C, 30 miles per hour. On an upgrade, passing a truck is often C. Easier What should drivers do in case of a brake failure? D. Shift to a lower gear A white light must make the license plate visible from feet from 50 feet Parking is not allowed. D. All of the above, on sidewalks, on bridges, or on crosswalks. When passing a truck, you should A. Complete your pass as quickly as possible. Green and white signs. B. Give information about directions and distances. You arrive at an intersection with a green traffic signal. Can you drive straight through the intersection? B. Yes, as long as you yield to the pedestrians and vehicles still in the intersection. This picture shows... B. Shared use lane markings. When driving in a roundabout, drivers should C. Use the right turn signal to indicate their intention to exit. Which of the following is not a rule for safe driving? B. Always wear sunglasses in dark conditions. This sign means A. You must make a U-turn. If you drink alcohol, you should C. Not drive. This sign warns drivers that C. There is a double curve ahead.